Boston Dynamics just changed everything about its Atlas humanoid robot. This is not about viral videos anymore. The robot that spent years doing backflips and parkour runs just became something completely different. What Atlas can do now separates it from every humanoid robot on the planet. Boston Dynamics unveiled the production version of Atlas at CES 2026 in Las Vegas. This marks the first time the company has moved Atlas from research prototype to commercial product. The robot stands 6.2 feet tall and weighs 200 pounds and is built for industrial work. Atlas is no longer a demonstration machine, it is a factory worker. Robert Plater, CEO of Boston Dynamics, stated during the CES 2026 presentation that Atlas represents over 30 years of robotics development, saying, This is the best robot we have ever built. Atlas is going to revolutionize the way industry works, and it marks the first step toward a long-term goal we have dreamed about since we were children. The company began production immediately after the announcement. All Atlas deployments for 2026 are already committed to Hyundai and Google DeepMind. The new Atlas differs fundamentally from the hydraulic version Boston Dynamics retired in April 2024. The current model runs entirely on electric power. It features 56 degrees of freedom, allowing movement that exceeds human capability. Atlas can rotate its torso 180 degrees without turning its legs. The robot's head swivels like an owl. These movements look unnatural because they are superhuman, not limited by human anatomy. Plato told Business Insider that Atlas must meet specific requirements before deployment in Hyundai factories, saying, we need to be able to bring a new task to bear in a day or two. And that's because I think in a factory, there's literally hundreds of tasks and the tasks evolve. The 48-hour learning timeline is critical. Traditional industrial robots require weeks of programming for each new task. Atlas reduces that to two days. This learning capability comes from artificial intelligence integration. Boston Dynamics announced a partnership with Google DeepMind at CES 2026. The collaboration aims to integrate Gemini Robotics AI Foundation models into Atlas. Carolina Parada, Senior Director of Robotics at Google DeepMind, stated saying, We developed our Gemini Robotics models to bring AI into the physical world. We are excited to begin working with the Boston Dynamics team to explore what's possible with their new Atlas robot. The AI allows Atlas to learn through multiple methods. Engineers use virtual reality headsets to control Atlas and demonstrate tasks. This generates training data for AI models. Atlas also learns through motion capture. A person wears a bodysuit and performs movements. Atlas observes and replicates the motion. Once one Atlas robot learns a task that knowledge transfers to all Atlas robots through Boston Dynamics Orbit software platform. Atlas specifications reveal its industrial capabilities. The robot has a reach of 7.5 feet. It can lift 110 pounds. Operating temperature range spans from minus 4 degrees to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The robot carries an IP67 rating, meaning it is dust tight and can withstand temporary water immersion. Battery life runs approximately 4 hours. When power drops, Atlas autonomously navigates to a charging station and swaps its battery pack and returns to work without human intervention. Hyundai Motor Group owns an 88% stake in Boston Dynamics. The automotive giant acquired the company in 2021 for $1.1 billion. Hyundai plans to deploy Atlas in its manufacturing facilities starting in 2028. The robot will work in Hyundai's Georgia factory, which opened recently. Initial tasks focus on parts sequencing. By 2030, Hyundai expects Atlas to handle component assembly and repetitive motions and heavy lifting tasks. Zach Jakovsky General manager of Atlas at Boston Dynamics emphasized the production-focused design, saying, This generation of Atlas significantly reduces the amount of unique parts in the robot and every component has been designed for compatibility with automotive supply chains. With Hyundai Motor Group's backing, we will achieve the best reliability and economies of scale in the industry. Hyundai Mobis supplies the actuators for Atlas. The partnership creates a component supply chain designed for mass production. The robot operates in three modes. Autonomous mode allows Atlas to work independently with minimal supervision. Teleoperation mode uses VR headsets for remote control. 
Tablet steering provides a simplified interface for basic commands. This flexibility allows factories to choose the appropriate control method based on task complexity and environment. Safety features are built into Atlas. The robot includes an onboard safety system developed using autonomous vehicle industry standards. Atlas detects people and vehicles in its workspace. If a person enters a designated radius, Atlas pauses and waits for them to pass. The robot has padding and minimal pinch points to reduce injury risk. Boston Dynamics has worked with companies like Agility Robotics to develop safety standards for humanoid robots working alongside humans. Atlas limbs can be replaced in under five minutes. This field serviceability reduces downtime. Boston Dynamics simplified the design by limiting motor types throughout the robot. Plata emphasized the need for 99.9% .9 reliability before widespread deployment, saying, the AI is not quite there yet, but it's very promising. Boston Dynamics generated approximately $130 million in revenue in 2025 from deploying over 500 robots. These numbers come from spot quadruped robots and stretch warehouse robots. Plata stated that experience scaling spot provides lessons for Atlas deployment, saying some companies are saying they want to deploy humanoids in the home first. We think that's the wrong strategy for multiple reasons, citing high costs and low capabilities and lack of safety standards. The United States and China compete for leadership in humanoid robotics. Chinese companies produce humanoid robots at higher volumes and lower costs. Plata said, the Chinese government has a mission to win the robotics race. Technically, I believe we remain in the lead. But there's a real threat there that simply through the scale of investment, we could fall behind. Atlas represents the American approach, premium engineering focused on capability rather than volume. Goldman Sachs predicts the humanoid robot market will reach $38 billion within the next decade. Industry estimates place enterprise humanoid robots between $150,000 and $250,000 per unit. Boston Dynamics is positioning Atlas for high-value industrial applications, where capability justifies cost. Atlas won the Best Robot Award at CES 2026. The recognition signals industry confidence in humanoid robots moving from labs to commercial deployment. What makes Atlas different is the combination of mobility and strength and intelligence, Almost no humanoid robots can learn new tasks in 48 hours while working in extreme temperatures. Atlas integrates all these capabilities into one platform. That's where Atlas stands right now and what makes it fundamentally different from other humanoid robots. If this breakdown helped you understand what Boston Dynamics is actually building and why it matters, subscribe to AI Tech Academy. We track the biggest developments in artificial intelligence and robotics. Drop a comment with your thoughts on Atlas working in factories by 2028. Is this the future of manufacturing or are we still years away from reliable humanoid workers? Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.